soon after we arrive, Danny. Danny's not here? That's all right, Mike's here, and he can name each other. <laughs> Danny, the second youngest, then about four years old, announced that he had plans to go to the bathroom. But there was no bathroom in the swamp, so we drove down the road toward a thicket of trees that afforded him some privacy. During the few minutes we were away from the viewing area, the barnacle goose came and went. <laughs> Other excited birders tried to hide their elation from Grandpa as they told him what he had missed. And so a lifer slipped by. We also had so many pleasant birding adventures during our numerous trips together. Although the vacations were not exclusively birding trips, we did manage to visit many bird sanctuaries and national parks during our travels. The birds made instant excuses to take another vacation. We found the very rare Kirkland's warbler in Michigan on our way home from visiting Maui in Minnesota. We looked for the Roadrunner out west for many miles and finally found it on a golf course in San Diego visiting a little dumpy. That bird appeared just as a friend was about to tee off, and when I pointed it out to Grandpa, our friend's shot was ruined. Even now, as we relax in our golden years, the birds are constantly in our thoughts.
nicest things about this avocation is the fact that it brings me outdoors every season to watch the fascinating cycle of the natural world. It has also given me opportunities to meet a great many people with similar interests. For me, this has been the most satisfying and fascinating of interests, and I recommend you try it for yourself and see if you feel the same way. Followed in my dad's footsteps, um, I trailed after him from the earliest days when I could uh, keep up with him, which was probably you know, about seven or eight years old. Uh, and I remember one of the places he loved to come is right out here, uh, so long before the banding station was here. Uh, there was a, a place down Manitou Beach Road, not too far from where he finally settled after he retired at 225 Manitou Beach. Called the pear orchard. Uh, it was an old, overgrown pear orchard that was kind of become a hedgerow. Uh, and we used to come in the spring and it would just be full of warblers and the migration. I can remember as an eight or ten year old just hunkering down in the hedgerow and waiting to see what was going to come next. Uh, it, was, it was out here that I really discovered warblers. Thank you.